Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. To see my collection of beautiful minerals and crystals, go to my website, Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. If you need your water tested for pollutants and, tox and to toxic ones too, there's a lot out there, even cyanides are a natural byproduct of, of nature. Um, there's a lot of lead out there. You want to make sure there's no pesticide runoff in your drinking water. Maybe you live on a well in the Sonoran Desert. Yeah, you live on in the Sonoran Desert in Arizona. You have your own well. It doesn't get tested by the state. I only charge nine dollars per test, and I test for a lot. Somebody wrote in a request. They want to know about could I do a video on zeolites? Certainly, I could do a video on zeolites. And then again, you could just download it off the internet and read articles on zeolites, such as from Wikipedia and Britannica and uh, um, <clears throat> the videos. Uh, I'm not going to do that to you. We're going to make a zeolite. So, this is what I want to show you. We're not going to have a lot of time. So, copy this down in your notes. Oh, you can't see it. What they are. Zeolites are microporous alumino, aluminosilicate minerals. They come in all colors. Microporous means that they have very small, evenly spaced pores like, paper, like filter paper. They contain aluminum, silicon, oxygen, potassium, magnesium, calcium, and are very and are hydrated. They're hydrated minerals. You can actually boil water out of these things. And that's one of the reasons why they have important industrial uses. Because of their pores, they can separate different sizes of cations and molecules. So in other words, they can even separate out gases, separate out water from from sulfur, from carbon dioxide. I got the power holding my camera like that. They are formed by means of volcanism and, and marine basins over time. You see, when a pyroclastic flow of, of dust and ash starts to lithify and then comes in contact with uh, alkaline or basic water, zeolites uh, are the result because there is a reaction and a cooling process at, over a long period of time. The longer the cooling process, the larger the crystals. And this seems to be true of everything in science. You don't get something for nothing. Uh, where, let's see, um, where are they found? Well, they're found in the United States, Japan, China, Turkey, South Korea, the Jordan, Slovakia, and the Mid and are, which are, those are the major producers. They're actually found all over the world. They are both natural and man-made. We'll be making a man-made one today. Well, why do they make man-made zeolites? Well, first of all, they're beautiful collector items. But they have, have a lot of use, uses besides a person who just collects minerals, crystals, and, 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 and loves uh, that field of geology. They're used in the following. Laundry detergent, medical oxygen tanks, ion exchange, such as getting rid of calcium and magnesium, softening water and detergents. Filler out and trap, they, they, fil they filter out and they trap solutions and cations, such as potassium, sodium, calcium, and magnesium, by acting like a filter paper. Those pores I told you about. Uh, catalysis uh, as functioning to as as uh, functioning to speed up a chemical reaction. So they act like catalysts. Uh, catalysts will speed up certain reactions. There are many catalysts. Cat, uh, 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 you may you you have a body, and there are a lot of chemical reactions that are occurring in your body all the time. Now, usually, with the more chemical reactions, the more exo or exothermic or endothermic uh, you, you would be, if there's a lot of... Um, <clears throat> you see, 
breaking apart and combining um, cations and anions to form new molecules, see my lecture on the periodic table, uh, produces energy. And that often usually release, uh, causes an exothermic, or it feels hot, reaction. Why does your body maintain a body temperature precisely? Because it uses enzymes, uh, such as a thyroid stimulating hor hormone, um, um, uh, progesterone, um, serotonin, uh, many, many chemicals in the body, and they don't release heat. Uh, other process, uh, they're catalysts, okay, they're the sorbents. Zeolites are sorbents. They absorb other substances. They, they're great for cat litter. They clump up. Uh, they're used in concrete. Industry uses them in the process of catalyzing in the petrochemical industry and hosting of acid catalyzed reactions such as cracking, alkylation, and isomerization. Separate, they separate gases, as we talked about. They even separate the in, uh, in inert gases. They separate nitrogen from oxygen. They separate that. Uh, every, the, they separate all gases pretty much that we have here on planet Earth. Uh, they're solar thermo, thermo collectors, greenhouse effect. They add sorb refrigeration. Used to make warm mixed asphalt concrete, which reduces carbon emissions, burning less fossil fuels, lowering fossil fuel consumption, and allowing the temperature that, that asphalt can be laid down a, and they aid in the mixing and laying down of asphalt. Got it? Now you know. We can, of course, rewind and listen to this. But we're going to run out of time. I want to get on with the procedure of making the a geode. Let's get to the laboratory. Don't you just hate fluorescent light bulbs? Is this not plugged in? Oh, it's not plugged in. I don't think we need it plugged in. This is my collection of natural, non-man-made, but natural geodes. This is Arknos. This is Arknos, my favorite. It has a uh, needle, powdery needle-like crystals called a secular. And we're going to radiate out. See that in the light? You can't see the texture. Just like uh, asbestos. A secular. This is pre night. This is your light. Amethyst. Pre night. Uh, this is uh, mono, uh, monocline. <clears throat> Can I make a mistake? Write to me and say, Frank, you made a mistake. This is a beautiful crystal. And we have the last specimen here. These are all zeolites. And <clears throat> all zeolites share in common the fact that they um, have aluminum. They're aluminosilicates. They have aluminum in them. They have silicon and they have oxygen, and they are always hydrated. So they'll have a molecular structure, the dot in the formula, and then a certain number of H2Os or waters. They're able to give up that water, and this makes them handy in all those uses that I told you. Time to make. This doesn't have to be done in the hood because uh, where is the light switch? This is not a light switch. Here we are. We're on our way. That's not it. This is it. Oh, 
No, I just have plug in. There we go. These are our cups. And here is our zeolite chemical containing aluminum, silicon, oxygen, and magnesium, and some calcium. Five hydrate. I would tell you the name, but I forget the name. I'd have to look it up on the computer, but that's inconsequential considering the fact that there's a hundred three man-made zeolites and 20 no almost 40 zeolites found in nature naturally put your safety glasses on make sure you're not wearing gloves because that would um be the safe way of doing it okay let's see okay let's see uh Size, we'll need size C, size D, size D. And these are lettered. We need a C. We need a C and two. We'll need two D's. Plastic graduated. Plastic graduated beaker. Oh, that's this guy. Measuring cup. Saucepan for boiling water. Let your parents help while you. This is this is this procedure can be is really fun for children. And the worst part of it is you boil water. So the first thing we're gonna do is boil some water. Put you down. Let's try this. Boil some water. Okay. It doesn't say how much water. But just to boil it, I could. I'll use a microwave to rush things along. I'm making you dizzy and sick. I could use my hot plate, but the microwave will be faster. to my to my uh, bench well let's move the bench And 
we'll go for two minutes. Something's not right. Well, I guess we won't use the microwave. As you can see, there are perils in science that you all have to get around. But remember one thing. We are dealing with God. And God makes no mistakes. We have to perform His science the exact way that he wants us to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a glass bowl and boil it on a hot plate. This is going to be a beautiful green crystal in the end. Tenuously put that there. That's like how, okay, now directions. Uh, we have the chemical. 